I'm really starting to like Fantech products. And today, I'm gonna to review and test two different versions of their X8 Apex air inflators and see how well they can inflate my truck tire and how fast. Okay guys, welcome back to my garage. I'm Jason, glad to have you here. Now, I made a previous video about the Fantic T8 Apex Jump Starter, which I consider to be one of the better portable jump starters out there on the market. And I think every car needs a portable jump starter in it just for emergencies. And one thing I wasn't able to show in that video was actual use of this, but I did promise that I would if I had the chance. And sure enough, I did. See, uh, one of my son's cars blew a head gasket and it was sitting for a year with the dead battery in his apartment for some reason. But I mean, no trickle charger, nothing, totally dead. And when I was out visiting him, I took my Fantic T8 Apex jump starter to see what it could do. Check this out. So like we showed in the video, we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna turn this on. It's low, so it's probably not gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the manual override. And it's gonna give it all it's got. We're gonna give it a try. All right, go ahead. Oh! This thing was dead for a year, and it is back to life. Awesome job, Fantic. Yeah, totally dead for a year and it fired right up. This thing is a powerhouse. And that was last fall. And I charged it back up and put it on my shelf. Six months later, it's still at 100%. So this thing has great shelf life too. I like that product so much that I bought another one of their products, the Fantic NEX L1 Pro Power Screwdriver, which I use all the time. And I made a video about that too. Now I'll put links in the description below to both previous Fantic videos for you to check out. After that, Fantic added not one, but two air inflators to their product lineup, the X8 and the X8 Apex. And like a portable jump starter, I think every car needs to have one stashed away because you never know when you're gonna need it or when you can help out somebody that does need it. Now, I wanna see if they're up to the same quality and performance that I'm starting to get used to from Fantic. So let's unbox them and see what they're all about. I'm gonna start with the most recently released, the X8. All right, here's what you get. You get the main unit, which I'll get to in a little bit. You get a storage bag, you get an air tube, you get a USB-C cable, and you get some various adapters. Oh, and of course, you get a manual. Let's check out the main unit. Aw, oh, now isn't it cute? It kinda is. I mean, this thing is pretty tiny. It's portable, 100% cordless, and five and a half inches, give or take, by three and a half inches wide and uh, just under two inches thick. So this will fit in a glove box or a center console, no problem. I can also see that this would be great for bicycles and motorcycles or UTVs or anything smaller than a passenger car that has tires. Uh, it weighs, I'd say, just a little bit over a pound. It's pretty light. And uh, some specs on it here, uh, 150 PSI maximum pressure, and uh, you can set it for uh, KPA, PSI, and, and bar. So uh, for inflation speed, this little guy pumps out 15 liters of air per minute at plus or minus 1.5 PSI for accuracy. So as you can see, it does have this digital display screen. And I think the only thing that I don't quite like about Fantic products so far is that the screen looks really fragile, like, you know, a fingerprint gets on it pretty good. But otherwise, let's check out the modes. So it has a manual mode, and then has a bicycle mode, vehicle mode, motorcycle mode, and a ball mode. And as you can see, it changes from bar to PSI, but you can also uh, change as needed. So um, each, each mode has a default unit. Uh, the long press on the mode button switches between the different operations. Like that. And it has a memory function that enables this to store the mode unit and pressure value and automatically retrieves them after each startup. So it's powered by 
uh, two 2,600 milliamp per hour batteries, and that's good enough for uh, a couple of car tires or four motorcycle tires, uh, seven bicycle tires, or 26 basketballs. Now, of course, there's a lot of variables in that estimation, but you get the idea. So not bad for a little guy like this one. Plus, it does have this LED light that I've got turned on with uh, a couple of different modes. You can never have too many light sources in my book, so pretty cool right there. Now, as I mentioned, you charge it. Let's see if I can turn this light off here. There we go. You charge it with a USB-C cord right here. I, I think it's cool that everything is going to USB-C. And the price on this is $99.97, and that's before any discount sales or coupons. Speaking of which, if I know of a valid coupon code, I'll leave it in this description. But overall, for the size, this is a pretty cool little unit. Now, let's check out the big brother, the Fantic X8 Apex. I love how these things are packaged, by the way. And here's what you get. Pretty much the same stuff as the Fantic X8. You get the hose, the USB cord, a couple of adapters, manual, and of course, the main unit. The one thing I did notice just off offhand was that the hose for the X8 is a little shorter than it is for the X8 Apex. All right, let's check out the main unit. So this was an IF Design Award winner and a Red Dot Design winner for 2022. And that is a big deal for the design nerds out there. You can't just barf out a product and win that award. You need to put some work into it. Now, as you can see, the X8 Apex is a bit bigger than the X8. This is much more like a brick. And it's much more hefty, around 7 and 3 quarter inches long by 2 and a half by 2 and a half inches. And as you might expect, it weighs a bit more than the little X8 but it is still portable and still cordless, and this might not fit so well in a glove box or center console, definitely not as well on a bike as the X8. They both have the same 150 PSI maximum pressure, but the X8 Apex does have a faster inflation speed at 32 liters of air per minute versus the 15 liters of air per minute that the X8 has. And it does have the USB-C input port like the X8, but it also has this 5 volt, 2 amp USB-A output port, making it an emergency power supply, which the X8 does not have. Everything else is largely the same. They both have a very similar digital display screen. The one on the X8 Apex is a bit bigger, but it does show the same stuff. And like the X8, the X8 Apex has five modes, manual mode, car mode, motorcycle mode, bicycle mode, and ball mode. Inside, the batteries in the X8 Apex it has three 2,600 milliamp an hour batteries, so it has a lot more capacity than the X8, which only has two 2,600 milliamp an hour batteries. And like the X8, it does have an LED light on the top, and again, you can never have too many light sources. Now, because of the increased battery capacity of the X8 Apex, it can inflate a lot more things. For example, four to six car tires, 13 plus motorcycle tires, 26 plus bicycle tires, and up to 50 basketballs. And again, of course, that's subjective to the size of all the things you're going to inflate. But yeah, it definitely can handle a lot more in between charges. So other than the obvious physical differences, the only real differences between the two are airspeed, battery capacity, and the ability for the X8 Apex to be used as a power bank. That's it. The max pressure and number of inflation modes are the same between the two, so you can pick which one is best for your needs. Now, the X8 Apex is 30 bucks more than the X8 at $129.97 before any discounts, sales, or coupons. And again, if I know of a valid coupon code, I'll leave it in the description below. Now, these are pretty easy to use. You just screw the included hose into the top and make sure it's fully charged up set the mode and the pressure that you want, hit the power button, and you're good to go. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna go and see what these things can do. I'm gonna go out to my truck and pretty much vandalize it by letting almost all the air out of one of the tires. And then I'm gonna track how fast these can inflate it to the required 35 PSI. Now, before I get started, I wanna point something out right here. That warning, do not use continuously for more than seven to 10 minutes, break for 10 minutes before reuse. Now, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna run these things straight until they run out of battery or they get the job done. I don't recommend you do the same thing. I'm really gonna to torture test these things to see what they can do. 
This is a 285 7017 tire on my daily driver truck. It's not a little Toyota Prius tire here. So we're going to give them an honest challenge. And we're going to start with the little X8. Now, I've got to admit, even though Fantic products are pretty solid so far, I'm a bit skeptical because, I mean, look at this little tiny thing. I haven't tested this ahead of time. I'm making this video on the fly, so we're all seeing this test together for the first time. I've removed the valve cap and I reduced the pressure down to five PSI from the 35 recommended from the manufacturer. Now, I didn't want to let all of the air out because I didn't want to risk damaging the tire or the wheel or having it pop off the bead and have me be stuck. It might not have been a problem, but I didn't want to risk it. And then I've connected the X8 to the valve and I turned it on and we're gonna choose the 35 PSI that we need here. We're gonna hit the button. Starting to run out of juice, but it's close. Come on, little guy, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, that's it. So it ran for 21 minutes and a few seconds, give or take straight, and then it ran out of juice. Now, again, this is a 285 70, 17 truck tire. My truck has a curb weight of about 4,300 pounds. I really put this little guy through his paces. Again, it's not. this is not a little teeny tiny 14 inch Toyota Prius tire. This is a, a pretty big, heavy tire with a rather heavy vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a time to cool down because I was feeling it throughout the process, just kind of get a temperature feel on it and let it cool down. I'm gonna remove it and then I'm gonna use uh, my tire gauge, a different tire gauge here to see how many pounds it could manage to inflate, PSI, it could manage to inflate in the 21 minutes that it was running. So if you can see that, 33.5 pounds, just a pound and a half shy of the target. So it did 28.5 pounds in 21 minutes on this truck tire. For something this tiny, not bad. Okay, now we're gonna do the same test with the big brother, the X8 Apex. I wanna know, can it get the job done and if it can do it faster? So we're gonna find out. And there it did it, 30 pounds in 14 minutes and 20 seconds, give or take. And it still has half battery life left. So now it's a little warm, not too warm. That's a little warmer right there, but they warn you about that in the user manual. So the X8 Apex definitely did a lot better and handled a truck tire than the X8. But that's to be expected because the X8 is pretty small and it's meant for smaller tires and even bike tires or motorcycle tires. So. This did pretty good though. You could definitely tell there was a difference in sound between the two. And uh, overall, not too bad. 30 pounds in 14 minutes. I'm, I'm impressed this uh, lived up to the uh, expectations. Now let's check the accuracy of it. There it is, 35, right on the money. Remember when I said about that warning and how I shouldn't do that? Well, I did recharge them and retest them and both seemed to work fine but I still wouldn't recommend that you replicate my test. Now I'm gonna be blunt, in the past few years, Amazon's been flooded with tons of products, automotive and otherwise, that have lofty and questionable marketing claims, often leading to disappointment, and you probably know what I'm talking about. What I really like about Fantic is that you can tell it isn't cheap junk right away, and they perform pretty well. I really put these things through their paces today. Now, if you want one of these, and I think you should for your vehicle, 
Hit the links in the description below, and if there's any discount codes available, I'll put them in the description there as well. So far, these are the third and technically fourth Fantic products that I've reviewed. And once again, I'm overall impressed. I think these are worth getting. I think the quality is great. Uh, the only thing I, th I think I have an issue with and uh, I mentioned this earlier, is the screen is very, very delicate. It scratches really easily. Um, I actually left the screen protector on the X8 Apex um, just for kicks on it. But I, again, you can use Laminex, a sheet of Laminex to, to protect it if you want to do that. In fact, uh, I always offer a Laminex discount code. Also see the description for that. But uh, let me know if you have any questions about these Fantic products. And as always, thanks for hanging out in my garage with me. Let me know what else you'd like to see me review, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay tuned.